Hello again, this is me, Seth. I'm doing another tutorial about Ableton Live. This tutorial is nothing new. It is a tutorial I already did in the past. It is the tutorial called Deconstructing Beats with Ableton Live. I'm redoing this tutorial in English today because I got, you know, tons of email regarding this tutorial uh, saying, please redo it in English. So here we are. As you can see, on the live set here, I already uh, did some work. Uh, I've loaded a kit 707 into the first channel. I set up a little beat and we can listen to this beat right now. The audio signal is going from channel 1 into the channel 2. This uh, monitor is set up to in so I can record this uh, beat into track 2. So now we have a recorded audio file in uh, the audio track. Hide this one. Um, the technique I'm going to describe is all about uh, making as many variations of one clip as you can. Again, I did some work here. I set up a big reverb in, in a return track. I will turn up the send volume on track 2. Uh, and this is the reverb here. Uh, I, we can listen to this one right now. Yeah, very big room, but I don't want that uh, reverb on this first clip already recorded. So we can we go down to the envelope section, to mixer, and to send level A, which is a reverb, and turn the volume all the way down, make a, clip, a new clip, and move it all the way up. Let's listen to this. Okay, now we make new variations. Let's say we make a new loop, but uh, make it a, li a little shorter. Again, a new clip and make it even shorter. Then new two new clips with uh, the same, but not the bass drum. We, we will use the snare on these two. So back yes this is good stop okay another clip let's say we use uh, the warp section here which sounds quite nice yeah again new clip uh, let's choose transpose here uh, make a automation from 0 to minus 12 semitones I removed these automation points. Sounds funny too. Again, a new clip now. Uh, again, a new clip now uh, with uh, the reversed loop. Okay, we stop this loop now. Okay, best would be if uh, I set uh, uh, the quantization for these clips to none. Because now, whenever I trigger a, a clip, it is played immediately. Yeah. But uh, this has uh, one disadvantage. I turn the metronome on now. Um, and you can listen again. I'm not in timing. Okay, but Ableton has has already taken care of this problem. Uh, they have added a function here, which is called Legato. I again select all of these clips, uh, turn on the Legato function, which is down here on the launch section, and this uh, function makes that make it a little bigger. This loop here makes that 
Let's say this clip is playing at position 1.2 and I'm triggering another clip inside the same track. Uh, the new clip gets the playing position from the first clip, so this clip doesn't start from 1.1 where the start marker is, it starts playing at 1.2. I have an external controller device, uh, an M-Audio trigger finger. Uh, this one is already set up to launch each of these clips um, inside this track. And now for the fun part, uh, I can start playing right away. Again, my timing is very bad today, but I guess you get the idea behind this technique. So, have fun with Ableton Live. See you in the future.